What's up guys? As many of you would know, I've been on the lookout for some really cool wearable tech that I can integrate with my very own CPAP therapy management platform, Sleep HQ. While this Aura Ring, it's the perfect fit. But there's one big problem. Hmm. Aura is a waterproof titanium ring with built-in sensors to monitor your sleep, your heart rate, your body temperature, your activity, and later on this year, the holy grail, blood oxygen levels. Shut up and take my money. And so they did, and a lot of it. Let's have a look at the prices. Now there's four colors you can choose from. You've got silver and black, which are 299 US dollars, and stealth, which is a matte black, and gold, which is 399 US dollars. Now let's not beat around the bush. They are taking the piss with this pricing. You can buy a Series 7 Apple Watch for $399, which is the same price as this Stealth and Gold. And what's the deal with that? What's the deal with the massive 33% increase in price just for the color plating? I mean, they're all titanium. And it gets even worse. There's also a $7 monthly subscription just to access all features in the app or to sync with other apps like Apple Health. And that's just greedy. I mean, there's one thing to charge a premium for the hardware, but then to sting you with a monthly subscription fee just to use the app? I mean, come on guys, seriously. So for me personally, the pricing is just way off. I think a fair and reasonable price is around the 199 US for the ring, and then a full featured free application with no subscription. Once you place your order and pay for your ring, they ship you out this great little plastic ring sizing guide so that you can pick a suitable size ring. And once you confirm that information, they then ship you out the real deal. Apart from the high cost, everything else is bloody unreal. So let me show you the ring and then I'll guide you through the Aura app. This is the little charging dock that it comes with. Here is the ring. Uh, I've had this ring for about a month now and it's, it's basically brand new. So I've got the stealth version and then on the inside you can see here uh, are the sensors. So they're little bumps, you don't feel them when, when they're on your finger. That's how it looks. I think it looks really cool. Now, <clears throat> the ring battery lasts sort of four to seven nights on a single charge. And then when you put it on the little charging station, a little light lights up here. It takes about mm, 20 minutes to an hour to charge from, from flat to full. Pretty cool stuff. This is how it looks. My finger. I wear it on my ring finger because I've lost two of my wedding rings. <laughs> what was the first one? Three days after the wedding? Three days after the wedding, I lost the wedding ring. Anyway, I forget how I lost the second one, but unfortunately for all the, the ladies out there, I am taken. Um, so you're gonna have to find someone else. And there's my Apple Watch. Let's take a look at the Aura app. Now on the App Store, there are 763 ratings at an average of 4.8 out of five stars. So it's a very popular app and one that's highly rated. Let's open it up and I'll walk you through it. So here we are on the Aura homepage and this gives you a snapshot of your health information. So you can see here, we've got my activity goal progress so the app will monitor some activity. Uh, my inactive time, which is a very healthy five hours and 27 minutes. Uh, my activity score, and it gives you some other information. Now you can click on these tabs and it will open them up further and give you a bit more information. So I'll go back here. Then we've got my heart rate for the day. 
We've got my readiness score, which was 87, optimal. Yes, I'm very ready. And then my sleep score from last night, which was 92, which is optimal as well. It gives me a little crown just to say, well done, Nico. So that's pretty cool. And I can click on these tabs and they open up and give you a little bit more information. So that's pretty cool. Now down the bottom here, you can see I've got readiness, sleep, activity, and explore, and we'll go through those. So each day, the app gives you a readiness score out of 100, which is basically how much you can take on for that day. And there's a whole bunch of things that contribute to this score. So we've got resting heart rate, body temperature, sleep, sleep balance, and a bunch of others. Now you can see here, if I scroll down, there's one here in red that says, pay attention. If I click on this I, it gives me some information. So it says here, activity balance measures how your activity levels over the past days is affecting your readiness to perform. Optimal activity balance indicates that you've been active but kept from training at your maximum capacity. So I think what it's saying here is stop being a bum, get off the couch and go for a run. I think that's what it's saying there. But it's cool that it gives you those little alerts and then it's got a little bit about your heart rate and average HRV as well. So plenty of information there. Going to the next one, we have sleep. This is my favorite one. It tells you about how you're sleeping. Really, really cool. So it gives you a sleep score out of 100. Last night, mine was 92, optimal. And then it gives you your sleep contributions. So you've got total sleep, efficiency, restfulness, REM sleep, deep sleep, latency, and timing. And once again, gives you a score basically out of 100. And you can click on um, the eye and it'll give you some information about whatever metric you're looking at. Really cool stuff. Um, if we come down here a little bit further, we've got our time of sleep and it gives us awake, REM, light, deep sleep. So it's giving us now the quality of sleep, what our sleep cycle looked like, which is really, really cool. And then we've got a little bit about our activity. And you can see here, once again, I can scroll down. I can see one in red, meet daily goals. <laughs> Click on that. Meet daily goals shows you how often you've reached your daily activity goals over the past seven days. Reaching your daily goal six to seven times a week is optimal. Falling short of your target on three or more days starts to lower your activity score. So it's sort of motivating you to keep active and keep pushing yourself. So I like that function in the app. And then we have explore. And this is quickly becoming one of my favorite features on the app. I'm addicted to it. Every night I use it. It's like guided meditation. So when I hop into bed, put my earbuds in and I just have this 10 minutes of just relaxation using this explore feature. It really is brilliant. It just helps you relax, get into that, that zone of sleep and um, I'm loving it. So in summary, if you have plenty of coin and you love your wearable tech, you'll enjoy wearing the Aura Ring, especially if you're interested in sleep health like yours truly. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, Give it the thumbs up, share it with your mates and subscribe to the channel for more helpful content. And until next time, sleep well, look after your mates and I'll see you soon. Bye.